Hey guys, I'm starting a new tutorial series on Arduino basics and programming. In this series, I shall be doing small projects that will help you get off speed and make you more familiar with Arduino. So let's start off with the basics first. Now Arduino is an open source hardware that essentially consists of two things, a microcontroller and a software. Since it's made open source, the design is made public. So you will see a lot of clones of Arduino on most of the websites. Now Arduino allows you to do a lot of things. Uh, you can read inputs from different sensors, switches and devices and generate an output. The output could be as simple as activating a motor or turning on LED lights or remotely controlling uh, you know, devices. You can automate a lot of things with this which is fun and very interesting. I'll be posting a series of videos in the coming days that will help you connect with different sensors, switches, display terminals and many other devices. So I'm going to keep my videos short and simple and also the programs and circuits that I show I'll try to make it very easy for you to understand and learn. In this video I'll be telling you more about Arduino, its components, how it works, installing the softwares and other accessories that you may need to start off. Now Arduino is a microcontroller board based on the Atmega328 microcontroller and the term UNO means one in Italian and it's named to mark the release of Arduino 1.0. Now it's an open source design and uh, it's available in multiple variants and sizes. So now let's look at the design and various components on this board uh, that are needed to support the microcontroller. Now this board has 14 digital input output pins of which Six can be used as PWM output and these pins are marked with a tilt symbol on this board. Uh, you can see that right here. And uh, we also have six analog input pins um, which are marked as A0 through A5 right here. And these pins can be used to connect different sensors or uh, devices. Now it also has a 16 uh, megahertz crystal oscillator that uses mechanical resonance of a vibrating crystal of piezoelectric uh, material uh, that's used to create an electric signal of precise frequency. The microcontroller uses this frequency to calculate time which is used in our programs and algorithms. Now next we have the USB connection right here. And this can be used to power the Arduino and also transfer our programs from our computer to the Arduino board. Next is the power jack uh, which can be used uh, for uh, providing the power to the board and you can plug in a 9 to 15 volt uh, DC power adapter to power on this system. Now next to the uh, power socket here you can see a small chip this is the voltage regulator which regulates the voltage and provides 3.3 uh, uh, volts and 5 volts for the microcontroller you'll also see two icsp header pins or the in circuit serial programming headers which can be found right here and the second one here so one set of pins is for the atmega 16u2 for this chip and the other set of pins are for the microcontroller which is the Atmega 328P. So these pins are used only when we need to flash or reflash the firmware on the ICs. There is also a small reset button right here in this corner which when pressed sends a special signal which causes the AVR to reset and power up again. and begins running the bootloader then runs the program from the beginning. You can see additional specification of the board on the screen and I have also left a link for the data sheet in the description of this video. Now let's look at the things that you will need to get started off with uh, programming. First the Arduino on a board. You also get a variants in Arduino like the Arduino Nano and the Arduino Mega which I have it's slightly a bigger version of the Arduino Uno 
except that it, this has much more uh, analog and digital IOs and more in terms of read only memory, flash memory and uh, static RAM. So when you plan to buy one, you might find some of them listed with lower price and this is because Arduino is open sourced and there are a lot of manufacturers who make these at an affordable cost. So you might find that the original Arduino might be a little expensive when compared to the clones but both of them do the same job when it comes to program and execution. Next you will need this USB cable which is the type A to type B. The USB cable is shipped usually with Arduino so in case if you don't get one you might have to buy one. The USB cable serves two purposes. One, it supplies uh, the required power of uh, 5 volts to the Arduino board and secondly it's used to flash the code that you write on your computer into the Arduino. Next, you need the breadboard and a couple of uh, jumper wires. Just right here. So breadboard is based for prototyping solderless circuits. It has a lot of uh, small holes where you can push the leads of various electronic components like resistor, capacitor and make circuits by connecting them with jumper wires. This board is completely reusable for building different circuits. You might also need a couple of resistors for limiting the voltage to the sensors or uh, the components that uh, make up the circuit. Next are the different sensors and these are electronic components that are used to measure physical quantity such as uh, temperature, pressure, light, sound and convert them into electronic signals. You might get variety of sensors online and in my tutorial series I'll be mostly using um, these set of sensors. As you can see this is the 16 cross 2 LCD screen and this is ultrasound uh, sensor and this is a relay module and this is the IR sensor, uh, light sensor right here. This is a Nokia 5110 uh, display module and there's a buzzer and there's a color sensor. Now let's move to the software side of Arduino and to write programs on Arduino you will need uh, the Arduino IDE or the integrated development environment. This can be downloaded from the Arduino's website which is www.arduino.cc. For Windows you get the option to either download the installer or download the zip file that does not need any installation. I would recommend downloading and installing the software using the installer as this will automatically install the required drivers. For the zip file you need to manually install the driver which is present inside a directory within the zip file. So let's just go ahead and, and download the installer. I'll click download. I'll just pause this video and come back once the download is complete. So the download has now completed and let's proceed to the installation. So you need to accept the user license agreement. So this will install the USB driver, a couple of shortcuts. Install. Now this is prompting me to install the device driver software. So I'll go ahead and install it. So we have successfully completed the installation. Now let's connect the USB cable to the Arduino and the other end to the computer.
the green LED will turn on constantly and this is the power indicator. Also verify that your drivers are installed properly by navigating to the control panel and then to system and security. Click on system and click on device manager. Now look for a section called ports which is right here and you will see Arduino Uno and in braces it will show you the COM port number to which it's connected. To ensure we have everything set up and configured for our next set of programs, let's launch the Arduino IDE uh, that we installed earlier and try to run a sample program. The IDE comes with a bunch of sample programs that you can import and execute on your Arduino. So let's pick a very basic example. So I'll go to File, Examples, Basics and I'll select the blink. This program will turn on an LED for one second and then turn it off for one second repeatedly. The LED that we are using here is an onboard LED which is connected to pin number 13 which you can see here. A program written for Arduino is called a sketch. It has few standard blocks of code or functions that we used in most programs. So the first function is the setup function and this is used to initialize certain resources or devices before executing the program itself. So in this example we are telling the Arduino to use the digital pin 13 as the output. Next we have the loop section that runs the code within this block repeatedly forever. So the first statement tells the Arduino to output the high voltage to pin number 13 that turns it on. Following this is the delay statement that makes the Arduino sleep for 1000 milliseconds or 1 second. And after this we output a low voltage to pin number 13 again that turns it off and next we have put the delay again for 1000 milliseconds. So after executing these four statements the control goes back to the first statement and the cycle repeats forever as long as the Arduino is powered on. So let's try to run this program but before running we need to make sure that we tell the ID the Arduino board that we are currently using so that it compiles the sketch accordingly. So to do that we need to go to tools, board and select the Arduino board that we are using and in this scenario we are using the Arduino Genuine Uno. We also need to tell the IDE to which COM port number our Arduino is connected. So let's go to tools again, click on ports and select COM4 and in my case COM4 is already selected. So once this is done we can either compile the program or click the upload button here. So this internally compiles the program and then uploads the code. So now I'll just hit the upload button right here and now you can see that it's compiling the sketch. So now you can see that the LED right here which is onboard LED is currently blinking at a rate of one second. Now at the time of uploading the code you'll see two blinking LEDs which are right here the TX and the RX. So this indicates the upload uh, progress status. These LEDs are internally connected to pin number 0 and uh, 1. So you can see here TX and RX. So this is basically used to receive and transmit uh, data via the USB to serial chip and uh, the USB connection to the computer. So this concludes the first part of the tutorial series and we have learned what is Arduino, what do we use it for, the different types of Arduino boards. We also covered on the Arduino design and some of the main components of the board and its functions. And finally, we also saw how to install the Arduino IDE and how to configure it. And I also listed some of the basic um, accessories like the breadboard, 
jumper wires and few sensors that I'll be using for programming. So I hope this video was helpful to you to bring you up to the speed and in the next set of videos I'll be using different sensors and other devices with Arduino and I guess it'll be very interesting. So please subscribe to my channel for getting the updates and if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.